I have a slight need for, it's only a small need. That's what she said. For a wiki on FreeBSD. I wanted to install Moin Moin or Moin 2, but it was a little bit over my head. So I've gone ahead and installed MediaWiki. I'm not a fan of MediaWiki, not a fan of it at all, but it's the only one I could get working that works pretty well with PHP. So we're going to go through how to do that right now. Okay, so MediaWiki. We're going to get it installed. There are a few extra bits that we can install as well to make things a little bit more smooth. Let's jump in and get it installed first. So package install. Now you can do this via ports if you want, but I'm doing it via package. So MediaWiki 144, PHP 8.3, or whichever version of PHP you're using. Now there are two other versions of MediaWiki. I'm just going for the, the one with the biggest number. So let's install that and it will install any of the stuff that it needs. There we go, that's what we want to see. I've set up my domain for this and, and you'll see that in a minute. Nothing special, just add a, an A a record into your DNS settings, job done. So let's jump into a, a web browser and go to the domain that you set up for it, which in my case is this one. Here we go. Local settings not found, that's fine. We're going to set it up here. Uh, which language? Yeah, it's vaguely English, I guess. Continue, and there we go. So PHP 8.3 is installed, and it's found all the stuff. Now, there was something extra that it wanted, and that was ACPU, I think it was called, uh, which is a PECL module, and it allows you to do some sort of caching. So if you want that, install it. It will tell you about it on here anyway. Let's carry on. Continue. MariaDB, MySQL or compatible or SQLite. I'm going with MySQL. Uh, let's log into my database server. Well, that changed. It wasn't like that just a minute ago. Okay. All right. So here's the database server. Uh, what are we going to call it? Let's call it media. Let's call it Gary H Tech wiki so that we might have to create it so i'm gonna create it i don't know why this keeps changing and all i don't even know which one i'm supposed to choose and go with that one right so that's the database created no tables in the database correct okay the name of wiki administrator account we'll go gary we'll create a password actually i don't think that's the same oh okay subscribe to the release announcements mailing list no Ask me more questions. I'm bored already. Just install. Let's go with that. And maybe we should do that. Ask me more questions. User rights, open wiki, account creation, authorized editors, private. We'll go authorized, I think. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Enable user talk page notification. No, no, no. Sure, we'll have all the editors. We'll change the logo at some point. I just want to get this running. So no caching, PHP object. A yeah, so there you go. That's what it was. APCU. Or use memcache. Yeah, we'll use that one. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Um, let's have a look at them. Find out which one we like the most. Boring. Boring. Mm, boring. Let's get rid of that. So we'll go with that one. Which one was that? Uh, timeless. Okay. Continue. 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 Okay. We'll download that for now. We'll look at that another time. Enter my wiki. Oh, it wants me to upload it, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm guessing it did that because it's set like that. All right, so where does it want it to be put? Yeah, I've got it. Where does it want it? The same directory as index.php. So it wants it in here. Okay. Oh, I'm right now. Interesting. Right, so we'll go to user local www media wiki and we'll put it in here. So it's local settings.php balls all right well upload it because being a sausage something has to go wrong at some point doesn't it always thanks right let's log into this box shut up shut up shut up shut up and shut up right all right so d profile and downloads there it is that's what we want so use a local a www media wiki there we go and bang that in there. 
Go away, go away, go away. Okay. <laughs> you know, this does drive me up the wall. So, what was causing the problem? Let's go to user local etc engine x logs and let's tail my wiki error log login notifier requires echo to be installed i'm going to change this so that i can actually see what's going on just for a minute let's close that we'll try again All right what's it say uncaught media wiki registration extension dependency error login notifier requires echo let's t let's turn it off just for now. There we go. <laughs> there had to be an error somewhere, didn't they? Didn't there? Okay, so we are logged. No, we're not logged in. Let's log in. Right, what can I do? We need to change that logo at some point. And I've been playing around with logos. Tell me what you think when you see it. So let's, we can remove all of that. We don't need that. Just start editing. Right, uh, okay, that's all we want on here for now. Right, that's all we want to do at the moment. So now comes the interesting part. So I had to oh, had to set up the virtual host on Nginx. So let's go through that. I'm already in. Right, let's change this back to where it was. Make it big and go there. All right, so wiki and here we go so what we've got essentially is is two servers one listening on at that redirects to https and then we've got one listening on 443 and ssl with http2 on there's the server name certificates logs root directory the index and an add header of X content type options, no sniff. Well, that's not a nice noise. Here comes my OCD. Everything's got to move. All right, there we go. And our larger uploads and longer ni uh, names, uh, script runtimes, sorry. Images, deleted images, assets, more assets and scripts. Licensing, my PHP configuration, and then that's it. Now, I will leave a copy of this in the wiki once I've got it running how I want it. I'm pretty sure that was all there was and went through the configuration. Oh, you know what I could do? I can put it on my website. Uh, where are my links? Yeah, they're not in there. Duh. Right. Um, they are. It's in here, but in hugo.toml. Of course it is. I'll put another one in, actually. Let's have a look where I should put it. In my main menu, I think. Yeah. So we want it after message boards. Right. Uh, what are we going to call it? I think that's it. And git commit that. Add wiki. That should be there now. Interesting. Okay, so there we go. That was it. And what you end up with is a folder structure like that. And we need to install instant extensions on that, don't we? But we'll we'll do that another time. What do you think? Do you uh, do you use uh, any kind of wiki? Like I said, I wanted to use Moin Moin, or actually Moin Two, because it's the one that FreeBSD FreeBSD uses, and I actually like FreeBSD's wiki. I think it looks quite nice, but also very, very simple. Interestingly, Moin's own web server is not working properly, but there we go. Um, so there you go. What do you guys think? Would you use this? Like I said, I will on this wiki. I will put the um, I will put the 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 Nginx configuration file that I used for this virtual host, and I will probably leave it at that. Anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you find this useful. It's quite simple. It works. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Give me a like and a share. Subscribe if you really want to. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. 
Wow, how long did that take for a simple bloody wiki?